So I um, I'm extremely humbled first of all um, um, that I was invited to speak uh, here this morning. That I see a lot of eminent people who have um, long seasons um, in, in in the area of political dispute and have have seen a lot much more than me. I happen to be just a man on the street that same the person who has experienced personally extraordinary loss that came that came along with. Uh, that comes along with the, 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 what people call as disputed territory. Um, every time people say a disputed territory, it literally kind of stabs me because then I see uh, someone's home being directed as, as, as a property that potentially belongs to someone that doesn't live in it, right? So you are taking the problem of people out away from them and giving it to, to, to those who are still trying to uh, uh, understand uh, what 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 world has given them. So India, Pakistan, being uh, themselves society between nations, um, based on their internal uh, decisions, perhaps right or wrong, uh, we have no clue. We have nothing to do with that. But being dragged for 75 odd years into a, in, a, in, a, in a political turmoil, uh, it's it's extremely. Unfortunate for 10 million people to be dragged along for so long, and I think it is also extremely unfortunate for, for for the people of the world who stand by democracy and free nation, for people who have created for for, for the history of humankind that created Osmanian empires and the United States of America, stands today for 75 years and watches 10 million people being dragged. Uh, sometimes this way, that way, by two countries or two political nations that have not become nations yet. So uh, while India, Pakistan tries to become two nations, we lose our sovereign nationality. This is the, which is something I cannot have. As as a child, uh, in uh, as a Kashmiri kid raised in the in the middle of turmoil seeing things go from bad to worse. Um, my personal experience is um, after having spent all these years in West, studied in West, um, we all Kashmiris, like you see, our hearts still go on there. We haven't been able to move from East to West even because every child who is born in Kashmir has a semblance, resemblance to my own children. It is very difficult for any of us to sit here and go by our own lives <coughs> not thinking about when will the political solution of Kashmir happen. And given that, in my mind, I don't see this to be something that is going to change uh, some uh, something, you know, it's going to in some way harm anything for the, for the world population, it can only bring peace. I just cannot understand why this problem has stayed like that for so many years and why why is not the world able to see this as one of the most emergent and oldest problems that needs to be solved? Um, and uh, given, the, given the borders to China and Pakistan and Afghanistan and India, we, these, these people happen to be sitting in the, in the most vulnerable situation now. And, and I think before it becomes gets worse, and we have a whole generation of people that have completely lost um, their identity in some way. They, they do not even know who they are because they all the time keep think, keeping dragged around, right? Should we, should we say, if we say Pakistan and then India, and why should they? The youngest generation understands that they are Kashmiri and this is a new revival. In some way, it is amazing how Kashmiri kids, how they are belonging to the nation and become much more strong. I believe warning this world. And I'm warning India and Pakistan. This is a new era. There's information across the world. People are not secluded anymore. You will have a new generation of Kashmiris who have a completely different outlook of their identity. They are not going to stop. No forces can stop them. So, so before, you will have uh, another whole generation of people doing something that is not necessarily the right thing to do. Or you will have to face some extremely smart people who will question your integrity of being the people on the podium. I, I really request 
people out there who have power today. Because power is also not something that is going to be persistent with one nation. We have seen, this world has seen nations fall. Today it's here, tomorrow will be somewhere else. So the only thing humanity today can do is put, put its hand out and bring those who are down up because you don't know whether you're down tomorrow and you'll be there. So for the sake of, for, for, the, for, the, for the sake of the persistence of humankind, we need to do this. I feel this has just been too long and I think we, 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 I really think there has to be a political solution for, for this problem and, and uh, the land of Kashmir, the homeland of Kashmir must go back to Kashmiris, it belongs to them and they, have, they are absolutely capable of running their show. They do not need an external leadership. They have, every, we, we, have, we, have been, we have been independent forever. We have been a nation for a long time. Um, the, the, uh, I think it was somebody from Texas, I'm sorry I, I, I did not get the name, uh, who exactly said that Kashmiri people are nation people and we really need to bring that character back to the people and give them their, uh, their freedom. Thank you very much for listening to me.